push the button. Oh, there we go. A little laggy. Okay, we're coming online. Oh, yeah. We're all in here. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I think the only one who's missed anything was Leon, but simply you guys had managed to secure yourself a ship taken to the seas and have now arrived at the Drowned Sea. Remnants of the previous uh, country that belonged to the dwarves. Now just a floating wasteland filled with pirates and treasures. People yeah. just seeking for any lost relics of the uh, once powerful dwarven empire. You guys have managed to travel and traverse your way through the uh, dangerous waters and arrived at one of the islands here. The theater of blood and i leave it down to you guys you're kind of just what? outside of the theater of blood or the island of the theater of blood mm -hmm. um so what do you guys like to do wait so henry is the captain of the ship right yeah uh, yeah I am the captain Not of show, bro. why did we come to a place named theater of blood i don't know i'm kind of thirsty <laughs> <I feel> like... <laughs> all right um DM, are we on the ship right now, or are we landed at Theater of Blood? Uh, yeah. I'd say you guys are planning to land, but you guys are still on the ship, waiting to like All make right. you land know landfall. Uh, in right. the distance, you can see the the island itself, and you can see um, etched into the side of an I the island, um, this massive temple-looking like structure w that's um, ablaze with like uh, braziers. Um, it's very hard to miss. It's not like it's like a lighthouse kind. Um, so what would you guys like to do? Let's go! Let's go to the Theater of Blood! Um, Lord, we must visit every single island. Keep even home, the, motherfuckers! Here. Yeah, no, this island isn't for boating at all. Let's go in. Yeah, this yeah. is... You see, you would think, right, that because of the name, no one would go here, and no one would expect us to go. What's like, the theater part is fun. But the blood part is not fun, so it really cancels out. I'm <laughs> pretty right. neutral, actually. So you guys mm. hop on your little rowboat that you guys attached last um, last session. I think you. Oh, oh no, yeah, the, <laughs> the oh, no, 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 no. rowboat. It's not a rowboat. It's a canoe. It's a two-person canoe right now. It's a log boat. <laughs> right. Out of a tree. And I'm stuff. usually just flying overhead with the hippogriff. So yeah. for a boat. Uh, are you guys uh. just gonna take the time to travel travel back and forth with to gather everybody? <laughs> Sure. I'm just, wait, okay. Um, since I'm the captain, uh, I'm just gonna go cast. Is it water walk? Is it, is it which one's which one's the more convenient? Water walk? That's up to you. Fuck it. Hey, who wants a water walk? I'm gonna just start rowing, and I'm. Uh, um, take, take I'm, I'm just hovering. Right. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'll just water. Uh, I put. I I put. I, hey, let's make her. You wanna go with Genghis Wong? I'll just water walk my way there. Yeah, no, I'll be on the boat. You can, Big, you can. Do that. Right. Big Daddy's push still so standing around as well. Uh, I cast Water Walk on Big Daddy Boy and tell her to follow us. Can you ping this well? I just want to see the full excerpt of it. Gotcha. Uh, how and, far are we? Uh, you're not more than an hour away. Like, <clears throat> it might be like a five minute walk. Okay. From how far you are. Uh, I gotta go pee. Be, uh, I, I, I actually gotta okay. go pee. Well, so. I guess we'll wait for Henry to get back for my descriptive. <laughs> Um, so Grangus, <laughs> he begins, uh, rowing his way to the Theater of Blood. Lord Smegmer, uh, this canoe is, like, the most shadiest and most sketchiest canoe <laughs> you've ever been in. Uh, if you can look at our Discord, um, history, you can see pictures, and that's kind of what's oh going God. on right now. <laughs> you have Henry Waterwalking, and you have Grangus in his very tiny, very thin, carved-out canoe. Um... And you feel it like every time he like makes a stroke, the canoe rocks back and forth. You're like, oh god, I'm gonna fall. I imagine you found like a knot in the log, and then you just uh, widened it a little bit, and you're like, okay, this is a seat. And <laughs> <laughs> right. are you back? Yeah, sorry. All right, welcome I'm back here. Ah, uh, you eventually <laughs> make landfall, though safe and sound. Uh, Model shuffle and Big Daddy's boy also walk up there. And as Anbar has just been flying around, he lands on the shore. You approach what appears to be this massive uh, temple. I'm hearing echo again. Oh, sorry. I'm 
Thank you. Here, I'm gonna run downstairs and get some headphones. Okay. You see this? I, I got a qu I got a question. Go ahead. How big's the temple? Like, if we if we could see it from a distance, is it in person like just massive, or is it more like? I'd just like I'd blood, say really fifty pillars. feet tall. So it's more like an entrance to a temple. It's like this uh, oh. very maroon, kind of purplish colored cobblestone. Um, you can see like braziers along the left and right side uh, that are ablaze in fire. There's this massive arc gateway with like a, a wooden door that is like massive. Like this is like some uh, Lord of the Rings type shit with a, like a giant ass door, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I looked up uh, what is and I got brazzers. Because you spelt it. Is, is it dark wrong. inside the temple? Like the entranceway? Or is it more <laughs> like more light? So this is sort of like etched into the side of the mountain. You know how like these islands have mountains? Yeah. It's like etched into the side of the mountain. Um, outside, it's uh, like the Saha was saying, it's the entrance to like a temple or an altar of sorts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I wish I had like a. Let me see if I could pull up a picture. <clears throat> Since, um. Yeah, it's still running around. Do we have anything that could light like the torches? So it's or bright. Like this, you're light. outside right now. This is mm -hmm. the entrance is outside. It's still bright day. Imagine this kind of scenery etched into the wall. I don't know if you guys saw the picture. Oh, so it's just a painting of sorts. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. I posted a is picture. Is it dark in there or no? uh, It's not. It's not dark. So the door is closed. Mm -hmm. And now that uh, Leon's back here, um, you see a single hooded figure standing outside in front of the door. Oh. Oh. So this is what we see. Okay. All right. I'm going to dock the the log canoe. You know, I expect a lot more can... trees around here. Or dirt. <laughs> uh, the, this is just like... This is just like the entrance etched to the side. There are like trees and like the beach around you as well. Gotcha. Mm. So in front of us is a hooded figure. Yep. Single hooded figure. Alright, who's gonna go talk to him? Wait, the single? Movie. Wait, I gotta go. Single and ready to mingle. Me doing up to these single hooded figures. Uh, your area. <laughs> Do they appear to have any weapons? We don't know. They just um. Figures. He's kind of like got like that Jedi look, where his arm is like oh, he's got folded. like a cloak and everything. Yeah, cloak. His arm is like folded into the other's arm sleeve. Mhm. Mm um, you're pretty far away, so he hasn't. You know, he seems to kind of just be standing and facing, um, towards you guys. I don't know, Let's man. Talk to him or her or it. Well, if you're gonna go about it that way, it's not gonna be me, because chances are I'm just gonna kill him right off the bat. Can't All take right. any chances. I'm just gonna blow the dude, or her, oh. or it. Well, you can't blow it if it doesn't have anything. What will you you're blow? Asleep. All right, DM, I'm gonna walk up to the hooded figure nonchalantly. Okay. As you walk up, he notices you. And you can hear like this decrepit old voice come out from uh, behind the mat, the the hooded figure. Oh, welcome okay. to the theater of blood. Are you sure you still want to blow him? Yeah, how much for a ticket? Like, how much, how much for a ticket? Are you guys? Have you guys all arrived? I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, seeing that he's not like out to kill us right away, I'll, I'll, I'll entrance I'll into the theater. On the first attempt, is free. Ooh. And the second the one second attempt? is one hundred gold per person, and third attempt, and off afterwards, will be five hundred gold per person. So, why would someone want to go in again? The theater of like blood. A... Is, is it like really it holds fun? A trial 
six oh. different rooms. Okay. If you manage to pass through all of them, great treasure and reward is at the end of the line. Can we go like through some of them and then leave and then come back in like a checkpoint? You must then... progress all at once. If you may progress as a team, and if your entire team should all perish, you will be resurrected at the front of the gate here. Oh. Only Wait, really? on your I... first and second attempts. Any deaths Ooh. on the third attempts forward will result in permanent death. How does that work? Like reviving? Well, what? The resurrection? The magic of the the magic of the theater is able to sustain the life of those who enter it. I'm gonna eyeball this like big structure behind him. Yeah. Like if you as you give to and like sense, see if I can sense any magic to see if he's like bullshitting or not. Uh, you have like a detect magic feature? Like a, uh, yeah, I can check. I. Otherwise, it would Probably just be don't... like a perception check from you. I think it would technically be an Arcana check. That could do. You could do that too. Um, chances are I don't have it ready. Let's be honest here. Um, let's double check. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't have that ready, or nor do I even have it in general. Then make me an Arcana check there. Okay, here we go. Oop. Or... Yes, I've, I've done this in a while. What am I looking at? Yeah. I'm gonna- I'm still- I'm gonna be skeptical about it. Not- not fully okay. convinced. Um, it looks pretty magical. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it's- Maybe it's a little bit of shiny. mystery. It's yeah. not that glimmer, but I'm I can't ask tell if the... that's really what it is. I'm gonna ask the figure why why is he, why he's here. I am why, but so why are you here? I am just but a messenger to the creators of the theater of blood. The creators? Who are, the creators? Who are they? Ancient old ruler known as the How Undying the King. Hey, yo, where is he? Is he still alive? He <laughs> <What's> <laughs> resides on one of these islands. Still wandering. Oh, I just love it's like the undying king. Oh, is he still alive? <laughs> no um, uh, care to tell us uh, which uh, island he may be on? So we might want to steer clear of that. Make me a persuasion check. Okay. So I had to pull up my character sheet again. Yeah. Because I keep closing it. Um. Wow, I am d just doing terrible my role. <laughs> he roams That's from funny. island to island. Only oh. a remnant of his former self. What? A remnant of his former self. It, it, it's a remnant that's traveling around. Where's the rest of them? Does it Locked stay on one away island? In his tomb. Oh. Where's his tomb? Oh, okay. That, that, that's that's uh, enough information. Thanks. Yeah. To, look, guys, look, they're gonna like point with the map. Check this out Tomb of the Undead King. It's gotta be referencing this. Oh, he said tomb. Yeah. It makes sense. Ooh. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, huh. Do you know why he created this? He was it for like the king fort? dealt with mystical, magical energy that mm -hmm. required sacrifice. Oh. That sacrifice being the blood of people who fought in hard battles. So we're dealing with a cult, okay. <laughs> how, how fun. Alright, let's, let's go. This sounds cool. like fun. Yeah, hey, whatever, let's go. Is there anything else you could tell us about these six rooms? Like, are we looking to kill whatever's in each room? Or each is it room like. has a separate trial. Uh, uh, sorry, a separate, child. separate <laughs> trial. <laughs> Completing the trial uh, Nino alert! will allow ah, you trial. to progress to the next room. <laughs> I think you mean orphan? <laughs> okay. Um, you guys, uh, I just <clears throat> trial, right, right, trial. Very vague. Um hmm. <laughs> You're not gonna tell us anything else about the, these trials, huh? The trials are for you to face as a team. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright. You guys got anything uh, that can like 
a couple more notes here so that I'm not straining my voice here. There are some small room, uh, small rules upon entering the Theater of Blood. Okay. Uh, you can long rest per uh, in between each room, but each long rest reduces your rewards at the end of a run. Oh. Uh, each death also reduces the rewards at the end of the run. When you die in a room, you are teleported to the front of the gate where you guys are right now. And if your team still manages to complete the room without you, you'll be teleported back to them. So you can't rejoin oh. them until you finish it. Okay. Or, uh, um, if everybody dies, then that run, quote unquote run, you know, is considered mm -hmm. complete. Um, and you don't get any rewards unless you complete all six rooms. Do we know what this reward is, or is it kind of a, a surprise? He has told you gold and magical items. Magical items? Yes. Oh! Wait, gold. Huh. gold. Let's gold. do it. He if also mentions... If each coin attempt is like 100, 500, it's got to be like more than that he to make it worth your while. another thing that no one has ever completed the Theater of Blood with no deaths. Oh, So it has been no completed deaths. before, but not with no deaths, so... So, uh, gotcha. Well, did they complete it like on their first run or second run? Make me a persuasion check. Like, what, like when you look at us, right? Mm -hmm. When you like, you know, size us up and compare us to other people who've tried this before. How? What do you think our chances are here compared to how uh, yeah. to the other people who Make have passed it? Make me a persuasion this? check. See how well. <laughs> yeah. oh. He laughs and he chuckles. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. I know the guy from the theater of blood laugh like a maniac. <laughs> I don't like this shit. I'm gonna. I, I don't want to go in. So yeah, your first I have, run. I have no use for money. Your first run is free of charge. If you guys want to do another run, uh, that'll be 100 gold per person. <laughs> and the third run and on is gonna be 500 gold per person. And your deaths are permanent on the third run and forward. So. Okay. You have a free entrance, free access. You know, I'm not even gonna ask any more questions because chances are he's gonna fucking laugh at me. <laughs> and you guys want to, so, any um, other questions? How long you been here? How how long have you been here? How so pent up are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've existed since the formation and the fall of the old kingdom. Hmm. Hmm. I could do some. I could do some change in that formation if you, uh, you know, let us, let us uh, have. Do not touch me, wench. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> very Back well, very well. You guys got. Hold walk. Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna like whisper to the others. You guys have a hold person, so we, uh, Mato Shofu can have his way. <laughs> oh, oh this isn't. This isn't. This might be TOS. Actually, never mind. Um. Okay, well, it appears I can't blow the dude for information, so you guys just want to dip out of here, or do you guys want to do this? Because, um, I mean, this could, this, could take a, this could take a while for us to complete the trial. I mean, we don't well, know what's our, take the ship. What's our goal? Like, where are we trying to get to? Mount, is it that where the X is? Mount all, all this? So there was a treasure map that you guys collected, and that treasure map okay. leads to Mount all this. And right now you guys are just... Why don't we just, just go to Mount all this? Well, I mean, theater of blood here, like with this big trial thing, for like riches and magical items, that's basically we're doing the same thing, but somewhere else. Yeah, true, but we have to fight and do trials, which is hard. But at Mount Aldis, we're probably just gonna have to kill some bandits, which is easy. Yeah, I don't think that there's gonna be anything that magical yeah. on Mount Aldis that we're just dealing with like pirates and bandits. Also, the DM has this. not prepared anything for Mount Aldis. Oh, spooky. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. No. Alright, well, hey, yo, so, uh, theater of blood. Like we Let's go. go on in, boys. Right. Uh, you guys Hopefully begin to... the theater <laughs> of blood has the all-fabled magical bar of soap that might make me clean again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal of this campaign. You know, that would be a a bar of soap to help. He kind of does a Jedi wave, and the um, wooden, massive wooden doors begin to part at the middle and open inward. And you guys all enter the theater of blood. Mm -hmm. uh, enter the first room. Oh, I do have hold person. I just don't have it readied. <laughs> I'm being controlled taste.
No, that's not foreboding. Is that a hentai? I've that's seen enough skeleton. to see where this is going. <laughs> you guys entered the first trial. Did you see in front of you, or you guys loaded in? Let me know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a huge map. Holy shit. So, uh, are those skeletons single? I mean, um, they're pretty single. But, <laughs> you guys first enter the room, and you notice, standing across from you, sits this weird, blue, dragon-looking humanoid figure. He's got, like, these hooked wings on him. And he mm -hmm. has a staff, and I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. Wait, what? Can, can, I, can I say, uh... Can you let us through? <laughs> We're, uh, um... Oh, okay, yeah, um, it's not He's not gonna yeah. respond to that here. <laughs> Initiative has started. Uh-oh. Uh, let me delete some. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 21! Let's go. And it's time for talking to pass. The yes. Lord's work must be done. <laughs> do, I, do I still have my debuff? Oh yeah, you're broken leg. I forgot we yeah. should have fun. Oh yeah, we didn't get the delivery, huh? <laughs> uh, yes. I assume so. Because you guys oh. took uh, departed without the uh, items or whatever. That's fine. So you still have um, a, a snap leg. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Who needs that? I just fired arrows. Uh, Zambar, I assume you're sitting next to your griffin here, so... There. Yep. Um, oh my make sure my, uh, oh, I have a question. How tall is the room? Uh, it is massive. As tall as that, uh, the I gate. This, gate. <laughs> this dice hates me. So about 50 feet. Oh, wow. Uh, you can see in front of you here. You see here. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of like a wall that um, protrudes about 20 feet high. You can see a platform over here on the left. It goes about 10 feet up. We will begin combat here. Uh, I think I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Sending. We start off with Mato Shop. Uh, I forgot the range of my longbow. Uh, let me see. Let me look at the range of it again. Okay. I forgot the range of my longbow. Is it 150 to 600? Yeah. Oh, so it's just one thingy. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna move. Um, so since my movement's half, I can only move 15 feet. So uh, you think we should have fixed your leg first before you know we went? Fuck in, it, but... nah, fuck it. I fired two longbow shots at that motherfucker. All right. Well, the, the, the... oh, I was gonna say I was gonna give you the first one, Henry. So the natural 20 is gonna hit. Oh, the crap. second, the second one will not though. So. Oh, 16 doesn't hit. 16 no. does not hit. And you deal oh, a total of, let's see, one, uh, 17 points of piercing damage here. Yeah, and then I put a middle, and then I stick a middle finger at it. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, is that it for you? Yeah. Lord Smegmer, you are up here. Um, okay, let me just look through. I don't know what that creature is. Spooky. I'm just gonna run up. I'm just gonna run up to like one. I'm just gonna. I think I can move 30 feet. Yeah. So I'm just gonna like run up there I and head toward that wall. Okay. Big Daddy's boy's gonna have a go. She will move over here. And I think she has a short pull. No, I don't. But I don't think she has enough range. Here. Let's see, eighty to three twenty. Uh, wow, just within range. Okay, she'll attack him. Hey. Twenty-three is gonna hit, and she will deal ten piercing damage. Nice. That's the end of her nice. turn. Grengus. All right. Ah, uh, I'm gonna move. I can't measure. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. The little circle yeah. with the uh, ruler in the upper right-hand corner. 
And then I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Zanbar. Snap the center. Um. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Did not mean that. Oh my gosh, snap's too fucking massive. You can zoom out if you need to. That's the thing, like, I, I, I wish I could shoot the map left or right, but I can't just because of how the way this website's designed. Oh, you can right click? Is right clicking not able to pan the camera? Yeah. Uh, no, no that, if I'm zoomed out enough. And then I can't see, like, top of it. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. So that's like, oh, I can't even, it won't. I won't pan up like if I move my nostrils. Are you trying to see how far he is away from me? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like 110. 100. Oh, roughly, yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, 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 you know, I don't know what to do with this. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm at a loss for whatever reason. I'm gonna hop on top of the hippogriff and okay. uh, I'm gonna fly forward here. There is no information on the hippogriff thing, so that's interesting. No uh, yeah, I move. don't know what the heck happened. I'm gonna see if I can pull it up for you. Okay. Okay, should be able to see it now. Oh, there we go. Um, hmm. 40 Let's feet see. of, or 60 feet of flying. Sure. Uh, let's see here. About... What? Oh. Uh, we'll move up to here. <clears throat> and I will... Ooh, I have to go in my joker sheet or it feels like it's ages. What is the range on this? 60? That would barely yep. be in range, yeah. Okay. Um, and cast Sacred Flame. Have to make a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 of radiant damage. Okay. Go ahead and roll the damage for me now. 11? Yes. Like As your sacred fire. flame goes out, it becomes enveloped in this radiant energy, mm -hmm. but it seems like it just has no effect on him. <sighs> like, absolutely nothing. Trip. Then, as a bonus action, I will cast a spiritual weapon and hold it in my offhand. Okay. Is and, uh, you? should be, yeah, the end of my turn. Okay. This thing here is going to have its go. At the beginning of its turn, its skin begins to change color. And it no longer appears blue, but it's going to appear green. Green? What the fuck? Do a little bit of oh. swips. Swip whopping around here. 5, 10, 15. Mm. 20. 25, 30. Uh oh. Are you, how far, how high in the air are you, Sandbar? Well, it depends on how uh, tall the ceiling is in this room. About 50 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm about 20 feet up. Okay. That's the case, it's going to cast. Spellcaster here, so it's going to cast um, a lightning bolt. Oh, it's gonna target you, uh, Zanbar. Okay, uh, it's only gonna hit you, so I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw using the griffin, the, the hippogriff's dexterity. Oh, okay, I don't know how to do that. Uh, Roll me 1d20, and then you can add. Looks like a modifier of 1. Yeah. Oh, that works too. I see now. 16? Should be okay. 16, yep. 
Uh, that's a failure here. What so you're going to take 8d6 lightning damage. Uh, okay. And you take 32 points of lightning damage here. Okay. That will be the end of his turn. Mato Shoko. Um, I want to go move uh, one, two, three squares here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go cast Hunter's Mark on the target. Oh, okay. Are you with, within range of it? What's the range of it? 90 feet? Wait, am I? Am, wait, uh, 90 am feet. I 90 feet limit. Yeah, you can do that. All right. Hunter's Mark for... Um, is it bonus action? Yeah, bonus action. Uh, on that. And then now I'm going to fire one longbow shot for a bonus a uh, for regular action. Okay. 17 is going to miss. Damn. And then I'm done. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't don't you have two attacks? No, isn't the uh the my spell bonus action you only have one bonus action per turn? Yeah, but then whenever you make an attack, uh you can do two attacks. So you you use your action to make the attack move and the attack yep. move gives you two attacks. Oh, okay. So, uh, and that is 16, yeah, it's not going to hit either. Uh, that's it. <laughs> guys, guys I, I don't I don't like this. Lord Smegbrand is your turn. If this is only the first try, we're <laughs> fucked. I'm going to uh, mosey on over like here and uh, cast Scorching Ray on it. Okay. Uh, 20. 20 is going to hit. Can you roll me damage? Alright. Your last magical attack had no, or I mean, Xanbar's last magical attack had no effect on it, but this one sears into its skin here. Alright, what are you doing? Anything else? Uh, no, I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Big Daddy's boy here. She's gonna shoot her arrow. Little short bow here. A 20. Oh, wow, that hits. Uh, for 9 piercing damage. This time when she shoots it, it hits him, and it has no effect by what you guys can see. What the? She's gonna dash, just gonna run up here. And then have a little vantage point here. Gren guess it's up to you now. Uh huh. It, it doesn't like radiance. Hmm. Alright, uh, I end my turn. Okay. Xanbar. Alright, uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swoop in with the hippogriff. Okay. Uh, while I'm on it. What's going to happen is that I'm going to, um, in the process of flying in to get in range of attacking whatever the hell this thing is, mm -hmm. uh, I will throw my spiritual weapon at it to do an attack, and I will hop off the hippogriff to do a two-handed attack with my warhammer while the hippogriff will also attack it twice. Okay. Is the spiritual weapon, is that a bonus action to do that? It is a bonus action, okay. yes. Um... Yeah, go ahead and roll me to hit for all that stuff. Got it. We'll do it in First order. do spiritual weapon, yeah. Yeah. As I throw that. Um, You're throwing it? Yeah, I'm throwing it, but even though I don't technically need to throw it, it kind of just hovers and okay. goes so after whatever sure. target. So we'll start with that. Ugh, if I remember previous rolls, that doesn't do anything. Um, But yeah, there's that. Uh, a 17 is not gonna hit. Then I'm going to hop off the hippogriff to do a two-handed warhammer attack, but because well, I've got to check off my strike. 25. 25 is gonna hit. Okay. Uh, that's damage right there. 17 in total. What's the divine strike? Do you get divine strike? I believe so. Let me double check and get that into Where the chat for you. Um, right here. At 8th level, gain the ability to infuse weapon strikes with divine energy. Once on each of my turns when I hit a creature with a weapon attack. Oh, okay. Sounds good. 
17 yep. points here. Yep. Now I gotta swap over to the Hippogriff sheet to see how it does on hey, the, the um, I don't cloud. see the enemy token, like return order. Uh, yeah, I had to swap him out because he's changing colors here, so he'll be oh, next yeah. in turn. Oh, so, shoot. starting with the claws into the beak. Okay. Oh, that's your oh, baby. I'm just going to move you uh, up closer, Kelvin. Okay, got it. That sounds good. That's the only way uh, you can hit him. Do I click here the, the uh, attack? Click the, the attack, uh, yeah. Okay. A total of... Um, there. I can't change NPC damage, so it's going to be... 12 plus 10, so 22. Okay. And then into beak, that misses. Most likely. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my turn. Okay. It's gonna get hit the turn now. And you see its scales begin to turn a different color. This time it's gonna be red. You guys got water? Like in real life or water. in this game? No, in this game. <laughs> I'm, getting some, I'm getting some mad Pokemon vibes from All right. Me. Uh, and now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We can spit on it. I'll oh, yeah. spit in its face yeah. after the failed beak attack. It doesn't like you being next to it here. It's gonna actually. Oop, I don't want Social that. distancing. Yeah, it's gonna get some social distancing. And take a couple steps back. Do you want to give an attack an opportunity? Yes. Alright, roll um, to hit there. Okay. Let me see here. Is it just with my weapon? Yes, your melee weapon. Gotcha. Um, and because it's not my turn, I got turned off and find strike. I'll make sure that. An 8, and that's gonna miss. Yeah. The uh, Griffin gets one too, if you would like to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, move over to the Kippogriff. Do I get a choice between the Beacon Claws? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, but you only get one. That's true. We do. Ugh, this is two. Fuck. Okay, yeah, nothing happens. Uh, let's see what he does next. Okay, yeah. Okay, he's taking his steps back here, and then he's going to cast. See how much. Oh no. Uh oh. He's going to cast Cone of Code at fifth level here. Cone and he's going code. to hit. It's been an honor. <laughs> yeah, he's hitting everybody. Nani. Oh. Oh my wa. So I need everybody here to make me a constitution saving throw. Okay, gotcha. I'll, I'll roll both. Hold on. Uh, Big Daddy's boy kind of has a little bit of an advantage because she's got a high ground, so. She has the high ground! It's okay, over! Oh. Constitution for me. So, Hippogriff fails. I also fail. Um. Chris, who am I kidding? What? How the fuck is a spell save BC gonna be like remotely below 10? <laughs> uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Um. I'm trying to find my. Everybody fails. Yep. Rip. You guys are all taking 47 points of cold damage. Okay. Oh. 47? My butthole. Calvin, you're not, not out of the theater of blood yet. You are considered unconscious. So you're telling me this is over 34 damage? Yes, because you take 47. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, puts me at zero. Uh, Hippogriff is also fucked. Um, and because it's 47 damage and Hippogriff only has 19, it's insta-dead. You totally. basically had a Pokemon battle against It's right off of the face of the earth. Or whatever the hell this world is, and it is gone. It is no more. Hippogriff fainted. No, Hippogriff didn't faint. We're talking like 
Soup is butt head. basically at you at this point. Yes. Uh, everything is unconscious. Hippogriff is unconscious. No, oh, no I'd say Hippogriff is dead because it's twice its health pool. Oh, oh, yes. So then yeah. it responds back so outside. It's, it's like permanently it dead. Is, you uh, for it. Yeah, we'll leave it there. That is it for his turn. Model show pull. Ah, fire two more arrows. Uh, okay. The six, the 18 is going to miss, but the 21 will hit. Gotcha. Uh, this one, and then I roll 1d6 for Hunter's Mark. Yes. Oh, nice. Nice. Natural six. Now we just need the natural nine. All right. Anything else from you? <laughs> That's a, uh, and then I'm gonna move uh, three spaces this way. Okay. That's Lord Smegmer, it's your turn. Uh, is there any benefit to being like? Is that a room or is that like a raised platform? It's that a big raised daddy platform. Thing? It's just a flat platform that's raised. Is it's it? Terrible depth it's about ten feet up. <laughs> Does it give me any, like, I don't know, it would probably take too long to get there anyways. I'm just going to, like, move up a little bit. Okay. And then I'll just do, I'll just do Scorching Ray again. Let me... Is that a cantrip? No, it's okay. a spell. You're subtracting spell slots, correct? I am. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit. 21's going to hit. Give me the damage. 10 points of fire damage here. Begin to sear into his skin. Anything else from you? Um, no, that'll be it. Okay. Daddy's boy here. Uh, she is hurt. She is very hurt right now. Like, it's not pretty. Uh, no potions. Uh, but she's just going to. Pop an arrow at him. That's all she can do. Oh, oh, a ten is gonna Shit. miss, and then she'll duck down here. Grand gets it's her thing. All right. I'm gonna enter rage. Bonus action rage. And then I'm gonna run over. <coughs> I'm gonna start hacking and slashing at him with the great axe. Um, 23 is the only one that hits. Alright. As you go to swing at it, your physical attack here seems to have no effect on him. Bleh. Sandbar is All your right. turn. That's safe. All right. So that technically passes. Yep. Pass. Okay. That's one success. And like, we'll just say the damn. It's a good thing I fucking raised in fucking Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking cold. Its skin okay. is going to be t to change again. At the beginning of his turn. Is this one of those colorblind tests? Uh, no. It's going to be blue though. This. And it pops up or. So skin goes blue, and uh, it's not liking where it's standing right now. Do it! I dare you! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you gotta... It's going You gotta to, grapple it, make it uncomfy. It's going to use a bonus action to cast Misty Step at third level, and teleport 30 feet away. Wait a moment! Guys, wait, hold on. I think... I think this might be the trial. It, it, it's gotta ignore everything in the room and just go to the exit. <laughs> I see it right there. It, warping behind us is a real nothing personnel kid. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. I swear, if he does another AOE pointed at Grangus, I am fucked. And then he's going to cast a magic missile at oh. first level here. Uh, oh. They automatically hit, he's gonna target Grangus. Does it also okay. automatically target unconscious people? Uh, he can choose to target, but he's choosing to target uh, Grengus, so there's three missiles. OK. 
Okay, fine. Well, you're taking a total of nine points of um, force damage. So that's five because of rage. Uh, are you resistant to force? Force. Uh, let's see here. I don't think so, no. Pierce, bludgeoning, slash. I think it's only three. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Yep, that, uh, not reduced, well, not resistant to force. Yeah, so you're gonna take the full. Alright. That's it for him, Mono Shopo. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna move diagonal. Three spaces here, this way. And fire two more shots. Uh, you can still see him, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, natural Ooh. twenty! More natural oh, twenties keep rolling. Ah, these naturals. Uh, both of them are hitting, so give me damage for both. And then uh, um, roll one. Wait, actually, I have the command save. Second. Twenty-three. Mark on each of them. Wait, how, how does Hunter Mark? Is it after this shit happens? Um, it, it's when it happens, so I mean, we'll add it all up here together, so... Uh, I think it's 29. Let's see, look, 7 plus 8 well, That's plus... massive. Alright, yeah, 29. Don't HP go bye-bye. Uh, anything else from you? Uh, no. Lord Smegmer, is your turn. Um. Hmm. I'm going to. I'm gonna summon my baby. I'm gonna summon my son out into the field. Where is he? Joa! Monster Cardo! <laughs> Monster Cardo! Here he is. Um, do I need to click on anything, or can I just? Uh, okay. what are you trying to do here? Uh, summon my son, my ah. conjure, conjure elemental. So we've been doing this wrong. Not you want to look at the casting time? The casting time is one minute. Oh, that's ten rounds. <gasps> uh oh. Like, <laughs> this thing needs to be up before you actually do it. So it takes uh, one okay, whole okay. minute to actually do it. We've kind of just been doing that wrong. Oh, okay. Then can I do um, Black Tentacles instead? Yeah. Alright, let me do that. Oh, you know what the Big Brain move is? You get someone to do whole person against it, right? Well, actually, it'll, it'll keep getting chances to free itself. But, right. uh, it's... Uh, how big is that square again? Is I think that's a... a Three by. Uh, it looks pretty big, like almost as big as the, the uh, ten the, foot cube. Like play, right? Ooh, actually, is that it? That four. Ten foot cube. Like ten foot radius. Let me see. Yeah. Ten foot cube. This is a ten foot cube. What have we been doing before? I so, I think we did ten foot radius. I forgot. Oh, I'm looking at Conjure Elemental. I need oh. to oh. ping the, the actual uh, spell again. Uh, oh yeah, let me. Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, a twenty foot square. Oh, like twenty foot across? That's just a two by two, right? Or, oh no. No, that would be a four by four. Yes. Yeah, it's it's quite like four by four. Uh, I got it. How'd you want it? Something like that. Um, hold on. Let me get a. I mean, would it be better for it to be on the edge like that, or probably not, because it can like Where would you through. like it to be? Up to you. One, two, three, four. Probably like, like that. Okay. Oh, I believe you control that <gasps> square oh, there. I'm having too much. Should, should I get rid of it? Is that? Is that? You can, uh, you can keep that. You should be okay. able to control it. What the heck is? I don't know on? what this is. I have <laughs> no <laughs> idea what, what I'm doing. doing? <laughs> oh, Greg is you fucking artist. I don't, it's art. Right. It's subjective. Um, he needs to make That's a good. save. Correct dexterity. 
Yeah. Your spell save DC is... Uh, let me check again. It doesn't matter. He rolled a natural one. Oh, sad. So, yeah, give me damage there. Uh, looks like you rolled it earlier. A 10? Yeah. He's taking 10 damage. Just like before with how Xanbar's Radiant Flame uh, struck him and had no effect, the same thing here happens. Your tentacles go to like swing at him and it kind of just phases right through him. Uh oh. He's a ghost type. Um, okay, I can. S Did I move earlier? Or... You have not. Okay, I'm just going to. to. like huddle up right here, hide behind this wall. Okay. And end my turn. Big Daddy's boy here. She's gonna pop forward, take a shot. That's a miss, and pop right back down. Actually, she'll bonus action dash as well, right over here. Alright. Vengus, it's your turn. I'm gonna throw a javelin at him. Okay. Javelin throwing 15, that's gonna be a miss. Alright, well. Is that it for you? Yep. Okay, well, Xanbar is still unconscious on the floor. Make me another death saving throw. Oh, wait, you're unconscious? Oh! Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, let me do another. Ooh, that's, that's a, a failure. failure. Not a natural I one. I I should have fucking failure. moved the floor up. <laughs> and retire. <laughs> Alright, its skin color here is going to change again. And it's going to change to this greenish scaly color. What's this thing called? Um, a Abishai. 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 Uh, and then it will make. Can't see you, can it? Thank you. Uh, it can see model though. Uh oh. Sad. Wait, he's gonna kill me? He's going to cast chain lightning at sixth level. Oh. Okay. Sad. So I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, as well as, let's see. And I'm going to need Smegber and Big Daddy's boy as well to make me a dexterity saving throw. I got 16. Um... Dexterity, there it is. Yeah, Big Daddy's boy was gonna make it won't matter for Big Daddy's boy because she's going to be unconscious for this one. Wait, did she, did he did the cast cold again? Uh no, he cast chain lightning. And uh those oh, are both yeah. failures, so you guys are both taking forty nine points of <sighs> lightning damage here. Forty forty seven? Forty nine points of lightning. Oh, 49. Okay, I'm down. Is the end of their turn. Model show pull. Hmm. I'm gonna move one square here, fire two shots. You are unconscious, model? Oh, wait, I'm unconscious. My bad. Yeah. I need you to make me a death saving throw. I bet. I thought it was good. I was like, wait a second. Uh, is it 1d20? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> a natural one. That's two failures. Got so uh, a natural one comes as two failures. Uh, when you hit three failures, your character is dead. 
Wait, it's a natural one on his death yeah. save? Oh no! Lord Smegbra, I need you to make one. Yeah. Okay, who the heck is not unconscious? Okay, that's your. You have um, one successful. You and Grangus. Big Daddy's boy's oh, gonna make one here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Never mind. You're, you're only one left. <laughs> Oh, all right, oh, let's do Angus, this. It is your turn. Uh, the black tentacles disappear. All right, I'm gonna bum rush him and attack with the great axe. Twenty six hits, hey. eleven does not. Fourteen. Zenbar, that's saving All right. I got you. Ooh, success. Uh, yep, now it's on to Madrasho yeah. to make this well, hit save um, roll. The blue, uh, the abut shot here. Oh, yeah. Going to change its color. Yeah. It's now going to be red. I forgot it's the, this weird thing's turn. Um, it's going to stand here and it's going to make. Oh boy. Oh shit, it's going to stand its ground. Oh fuck. It doesn't, it does not like where it, it, it does. It is not liking wherever it stands. What do you mean it doesn't like where it stands? It's killed Next everything. To the big old ugly orc here. Man, reminded me of that one girl that I liked but didn't like her anymore because she was so pissed about getting a 35 on the ACT. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that sounds terrible. All right. It was terrible and I was like, I got a 27. I'm pretty happy, but now you're making me feel pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> uh... Hello? Yeah, no, I'm trying to think about what it wants oh, to do. Oh, okay, my bad. It's like, going to I do... Don't... should do a drinking game of how many uh, death save failures we get. Know, right? <laughs> it's it's going to shocking grasp you. I think I you. can only drink milk. Shocking grasp you. Uh, 28 to hit. That's quite shocking. Does that hit? I think that does. Hello? Uh, nine. Oh, fine. Uh, nine points of lightning damage. What the hell? Uh, it's gonna stay there. And model shovel. I need another saber throw. Gotcha. Oh boy, here it comes. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, so he's dead. <laughs> I'm dead, right? That that is in fact a final failure. Yeah, you are dead. You are. Teleported to the entrance of the theater of blood. Oh, so he isn't bullshitting. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> uh, Lord Smegmer. It's just Motto throw. and that man out there. <laughs> oh no. no! Poor guy. There's no person out there when you come to though. Ah. That's it. Uh, three. That's a failure. Big Daddy's boy. Four, that's a failure. Oh! Rangus, back to you. Alright! Huh. So, when he was green, I was able to hurt him. Right? Yeah. Did, did he, okay. Oop. So now he's red. Oop. Huh. Alright. Hey, why does man go right. like the fucking RGB um, color? I'm just gonna hit him again with the great axe. Ooh. Uh, both miss. Darn it. <sighs> Zanbar, another saving throw. I got you. Um. Oh, oh, okay. 18? So That's I passed Okay, um, so you're no longer bleeding out. You're just unconscious. Yes, so I am now quote unquote stabilized. <laughs> you still can't do anything here. Uh, it's this thing's turn now. 
and its skin, scaly skin is gonna change to blue. Pull in the blue one. Okay. It's going to... I mean, this point, it's just going to have a slapping contest with you, but no. A little done Come here. Come on! So it's going Hit to cast me. Misty Step again. Teleport 30 feet away from you. Can I tackle him? No. No. It's, it's a so spell. Funny. It's an instantaneous spell here. He's gonna target you, uh, and he's going to cast. Bring it on! Bring it on! Right, yeah. Wait, hold on. If it's gonna be something that reaches to him in like a big area, I think that's gonna hit me too. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna cast magic missile at seventh level. <gasps> What type of damage is it? Uh, you wanna run that by me again? The seventh level? Guys, I think the challenge rating on this is like 15. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Hey, we're only like nine. <laughs> eh, it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Alright. I do a little math here. So ours, uh, our challenge rating is like 10. You take 35 points of force damage here. As seven bolts of magical energy come spewing out from the side, only to reconverge at your location. 35? Yeah. Uh, Mato is out right. here, so I'm just gonna remove her, Lord Smegmer. Yep, let me just. Uh oh. That... Oh, he's gone too! Does that put you no. out? I think that takes you out, right? Yeah, it does. What's that picture of like the rat smoking like a blunt and it's like <laughs> change the world my last message Oh man like that. <laughs> You know I kind of wish I filled my death saving throws because if I'm unconscious and I'm technically not dead then I'm stuck in here Alright Big Daddy's boy is out as well What do you mean? We got this Frangus you're up Alright I'll run over and I'm gonna hit him with the great axe again. All right, roll the hit. <laughs> the one. Natural one misses a 24 war hit. What is that picture? <laughs> what that joke? You've never seen the change the world rats. <laughs> no. My final message. <laughs> Goodbye. Change the world. Zanbar right. still Hi. unconscious. Yeah. Did he take that hit? Uh, yes, he did. Alright, so oh. blue and green appear to do damage. Alright. Uh, it's going to change its form to red now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Graham. Yep. Yeah. Greatest character ever. Best girl, I mean, what? You're what is that from? Girl. Yeah! That's Fallout New Vegas. Vegas. Oh. That's from what? Alright, we'll be back. Fallout New Vegas. Oh. Right. Uh, I forgot the name of the DLC he was in. Uh, Honest Hearts? You yes. will misty step again, 30 feet away. You coward! He's gonna this actually is fucking annoying. Jump up here, so he's like 10 feet up right now. And he's gonna give a cackling laugh here. And he's going to cast Lightning Bolt at 5th level. So I need you to make me a Dexterity saving throw. Dex. Oh, you Ooh. missed oh, it! Yeah. So now, instead, you take half of 39 points of Lightning damage. Well, guess what? I go to 1. Ooh. I'm on 1 HP. Go down to your knees, only to just stand back up. Oh, it's your turn. Alright. Okay, this is a 1v1. How, uh, how much to climb, climb up the walls? It's 10 feet. Okay, so... Say I go here, <sighs> this tile. 
Mm -hmm. Would I have to? Would it be thirty feet to be up here? Yes. Okay. Well, you need ten feet to go up. So uh, I would be at the edge of the wall. Yeah. So I'd say you're up there. All right. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna attack him with a great axe. All right. Roll to hit. Both of those are gonna miss. Bruh. Bruh. It's his turn again. He's gonna change the skin color here. He's now blue. And he is going to. He's just gonna laugh at you. <laughs> And he's going to hit you with his staff here. A natural 20. <laughs> well, that's a hit. And he smacks you off over the edge. You freaking fall, like you kind of fall backwards. You are unconscious. And when your vision goes black, all of you guys are teleported out to the entrance of the Theater of Blood. How Where much health do we have? That old man. Uh, you guys are back at full HP here. Yay! Can I tell where this old man's run out to? Uh, you don't see any old man around. What? Can, did he, like, leave any trails? He can't just be, like, fucking floating around. He's gotta have, like, footprints or something, right? Um... When you guys come to, the doors to the Theater of Blood uh, Creek open a little, and you can see the man begin walking out between the little creek there. It seems your first trial was proven too much for you. Yeah, I want to grapple him and snap his neck. Is there a kindergartner <laughs> version of this? <laughs> uh, you want to grapple him and snap his neck? Okay. Yes. Give me a uh, strength check, because that is a contesting strength check. Oh, you guys are full, uh, back at full HP now. So. D does he expect it, or... Oh, I mean, then again, we I have to run at him to do it, okay. Yeah. Hey, what if I can jump and, on like, you? Make an excuse for an advantage, but it's not, it wasn't going to help me anyway. And let's see what he gets. He's an old man, so... Oh, boy! Oh, yeah, he's not... <laughs> Oh my God. You leap at him. Uh, you're you're like you're short of him as well. You're a gnome, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. gnome so like, come running up to him. Yeah. Oh he, kicks, he kicks. He uh, kicks. Zanbar kicks him at the back of the uh, the D, and he like falls to the floor. He wraps his uh, arm around the man's neck and just snaps it. Just falls to the floor dead. I oh. lose the body. All right, cool. There's no one here to collect a fucking. Here. Zanbar. There's okay, nothing on the body. Zanbar, you did it. You heeded the rat's words. Yeah. Changed the world. My <laughs> final message. <laughs> Goodbye. Steal from the rich and kill the poor. Because <laughs> in order for us... Uh, other, yeah, the poor yeah that, that, that's, that's how that works. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So All now right. there's no one here to collect payment, uh, we can just go back in one more time. Uh, the door is closed and does not open if you try to force your way through. I take his dead dead hand and I wave it to see if <laughs> I, it does. I, I loot him. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and loot him. Uh, he has nothing on his body. Aside does from he have him. underwear? I strip him of all of his clothes, including the underwear. All right, fine. <laughs> He's a naked <laughs> old man. I I take Look. the body. Yeah, I see that's what you're into then. Necrophilia, what the frick? Um, Mato, if you want to trade me something for the body, you can have at it. I decline. I, I, I only take gold people. coins. I mean, you just said you were gonna blow him, so here you go, uh, right? Here. For information, so but he's already hot. dead. We are the saltiest groups of pirates. Saltiest let's go back. Let's, let's get back to the ship no. before. I feel like we're tame for pirates. All right. Well, uh. Are you taking the body? Fun. I'm carrying it. Okay. Uh, when you pick it up, it begins to turn to ash and just blows away into the wind. Oh my oh. god, I knew it. This thing wasn't a real human. Even our memories <laughs> together can't be. Man, I don't... I knew I should have trusted this thing. I take thing. the ash. 
We just want a Either? memento. <laughs> All right, I'm looking around like if we ever were to come back to the theater of blood, how the fuck does this door open? I don't think we're welcome back here. Uh, like, are, like, are we looking at like you know, like Halloween, right? Where you leave the uh, the bowl out and say, "Please just take one." <laughs> you see something like that, except it says, "Please pay here." Well, this guy's been working here since like the creation of the continent or whatever. It's a hell and of a I, pension. Yeah, I don't know if they can replace this guy. That easy to snap his neck. Wow! Well, now what? Damn. Uh, let's get let's get out of here before someone else finds out. Let me look around. All right. like, this can't be the only thing with the theater of blood, right? Is it just this giant fucking structure in the middle of the island? That's it. Uh, from it's a pretty big island. You've only seen this part of the island. Um, you see now. This is where we can uh, journey on to the Mount Aldus because uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing else for us here. <laughs> All right. We we have completed the dungeon successfully. What was this? One hundred percent speed run. We can go to Sailor's Oasis and Ramparts Relief or whatever, and then we can go to Mount Aldus. All of us. What for? What do you think is there? Do we need to resupply or something? I don't know. Maybe there's like a Walmart of blood on this island that we can just stock up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you get some candy, out. like a dollar of candies? I want some candy. Are we talking like movie theater candy or um, like seasonal candy? I just want something sugary and sweet in my mouth. You need a consolation. Uh, <laughs> a consolation, like you want a plaque that says you died. tried. Uh, yeah, strangely, <laughs> yeah. Model Shopo, your leg is actually fully healed when you come to. Oh my god. Oh, what dude. the fuck? Hey, uh, god, my was... leg's walking. It was nice. <laughs> you want me to break it again? I can fix it, yeah, by breaking it again. <laughs> no, um, you guys want to go back to the ship? Or you want yeah. to explore the island? Uh, I'm what not with anything. What um, if the guy was going to give us a consolation and then we murdered him? <laughs> no, he's like, yeah, he's going to be alive and here's this. I mean, you can have it anyways. It's just the spirit of trying. Uh, and no. then we murder him. I saw it in his oh. eye, man. It was super condescending and I wasn't having any of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you guys head back to the ship. What's when the will coin? we think before we kill? Say again. When will we think before we kill? What do you Wait, never. You the the world. entire campaign has just been you guys being murder hobos, <laughs> killing everything <laughs> and anything that comes again. You guys slaughtered a, a tree just to get a freaking <laughs> canoe out of it. Yo, <laughs> hey, it makes all sense for my backstory, okay? I, I will fuck all of you, and not <laughs> in that way, my It's time oh. for character development. It's time for character development, guys. What character kind of development. Character I'm just development? the only character <laughs> development we get is when Model Shuffle doesn't suck a person's dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only character development that has existed in this campaign so far. Just because I want to suck someone's dick doesn't make me a bad person. <laughs> the five season arc where Model Shuffle finally learns to overcome. Mm. <laughs> to suck. I don't want to be horny anymore. Anyways, where are you guys <laughs> going to now? I wish to not be horny anymore. <laughs> Alright. Well, Captain! Where are you now? Are our spell Back slots still ship. screwed or not? Uh, your spell slots are also just fully restored. So, okay. if you used any, they're back. Any All right. well, that was super depressing because, <laughs> one, the hippogriff's fucked. Um, and two... Where is the hippogriff? I... Hippogriff is back out there with you. Oh. Hey! Wow. Epic. You live too. Um, that was super depressing to only get like one turn and then die immediately. <laughs> I think we're all just like watching uh or Gringus. Uh, have, have you seen Hunter yeah. X Hunter? It's like everyone just go bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here now. <laughs> and then just <laughs> cut off mid sentence. So you guys Head essentially on. make your way back to the ship. Uh, where yeah. are you guys going? Are, are we on the ship now or walking to the ship? You're on the ship. You're on the ship. I mean, All right. I assume Let's... you're gonna use your spell slot to cast walk or, or something like that. Yeah, water walk. Okay, for my so team. Subtract the spell slot for that water walk. Copy that. You walk your way, kind of shameful of uh, the pathetic attempt at the theater of blood. Shameful. I think they were cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that that shit right. was rigged. Let's go to Sailor's Oasis. And then, where would you guys like to? Man, I don't give a shit where we go. Uh, what's, we want to stop by Sailor's Oasis and then let's go to Mount Aldous. All right, fair enough. Yeah, sounds Carry good. On. Let's go. Let's yeah, gather anyway. more information. What information do we need though of Mount Aldous or? Uh, just in general, like, if there's anything we should know. In general, uh, okay. yeah, from the people of the land. Adventure. Okay. What's with the island that says "Don't ever go here"? We can go there. 
Yeah, let's go let's there. Go there. Is, um, it, is it a place where we can get our dick sucked? The guy uh, that made the map is like, you don't need a name for this island. Yeah, so Lord, yeah. I, I bet the, the guy who made this map has hidden treasure <laughs> there that I didn't want to share Beyond with the rest the, uh, of the group. The, so the map that, there's a map in like the ship that's uh, like all like fancy and like, you know, got like this nice It's like a mural or writing. something like big. And then there's someone who has scribbled onto that island, don't ever go there. <laughs> like it does not look like, like it fits sure. and it looks like it was just handwritten in afterwards. That's where the world's worst, like, condos are, and they always <laughs> just try to get you to get a timeshare on them. It's horrid. So, if all the scammers are hiding in there, making robocalls, we should go there and do justice and kill them all. Yeah, but... Are there scammers there? One way to find out. Alright, so we're, you guys going to Sailor's Oasis then? Yep, that'll be our first stop, I suppose. Who is where? Who's gonna be aware on the ship? Uh, uh, I will be over to the here. Um, I'll be in the mast. Where am I? Where I'll be going? in the crow's nest. Henry, I'll do you mean the crow's the nest? Anchor. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll be at the helm. I'll be at the okay, helm. Okay, at the helm. I'll be at the front with the uh, anchor. Uh, who's in, who's on the uh, crow's nest? Uh, that would be me. Where and I'm like on top of the hippogriff and whatnot, just laying there. Uh, right there. Hey, but I don't see my unit. You're, I know, I'm trying to find everybody, but everybody's like super tiny. I can't find you. Uh, oh, okay, you're in Actually, bed. That's why. Boom. Actually, oh. can, I, can I look for a fishing pole on this boat? Uh, <laughs> you can definitely find a fishing pole. All right, I'm going to go fishing. Okay. Uh, why don't you roll me a d20? Because uh, you're not All proficient right. in fishing, so. <laughs> or at least in fishing tools. It's, <laughs> it's very hard to catch anything. Uh, like, I could imagine, like, he barely gets the hook into the water, but, like, there's a bobber on it that hasn't even touched the water yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is how you fish. Zephar, yes. why don't you make me a perception check? Okay. This I mean, guy's... granted that I'm, I'm, like, pretty fucking lax, and we haven't really gotten into any encounters with the ship, I'm going to go ahead and do it at disadvantage. That's fine with me. Uh, core. Here we go. Oh, dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I at this point I'm snoozing away. I just fell asleep. I'm like, oh, dude, the sun feels nice. The weather is nice. Nothing to worry about. I'm slow. <laughs> you lie back. You know, you kind of just kind of um, cuddle up I'm with like your grunting. Yeah. yeah. I'm and slow. that's when you hear the sound of the screeching. Um, oh no, I haven't something... even woken up. I'm a heavy ass sleeper. <laughs> it just comes screaming by all of you guys. And I'm going to need someone to here roll initiative for the ship. Because as you guys all pay attention, there is another ship. Uh, oh approaching yeah! Battle so, station! Uh, have... oh, Battle oh, station! Put me at the bottom of the initiative. <laughs> so, how this works oh, yeah. is we need a... Uh, first, I need oh. to get a picture of a boat here. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so the ship itself, Henry, has its own initiative. Uh, how they do it? Um, I gotta pull it up here. So it's I don't know where everything is. Because um, is it? I, I open. I'm open up Captain's command, but I don't know where the press. The uh, no, no, no. Is. It, that's just notes for you. I have the uh, character oh, sheet here myself. Um, so the initiative is going to be a minus two. So 1d20 minus two. Okay. 1d20 minus two. Oh, wow. The ship has a higher initiative than me. Nine. Oh, wait. Do we do initiative? Uh, nope. One second here. It's got nine for the ship. Okay. Yeah. I have to, like, manually put in everybody. Crap, dad. Man, the cannon! Stand up, alert, and then I'm gonna like get roused awake and then start backwards long jumping <laughs> into the hip. And then there's gonna be a captain's orders, which always takes president first. So, how this works is at the beginning of each round of combat, 
the captain gives an order. Uh, and Henry's the captain. You know the orders, right, Henry? What they give and whatnot. Uh, I can't open. I can't open the captain's commands. Oh, it, nothing shows up, or yeah. Like I pressed the wind. Like the yeah, Griff was uh, page was empty. I pressed it and like nothing showing up. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna refresh. Uh, yeah, go ahead and refresh. How tall is this mast again? Uh, I'd say like 60 feet, maybe. I actually don't know. Alright, guys, I played so much Sea of Thieves recently. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Kevin Man's on the line now. Yeah, that's what uh, I know. I fall off this thing. I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm good. I got it up now. Dad. That's what she said. Enemy so, ship. I'm good. You guys see yourself on the right here? There's like a. Oh, it's a tiny fucking roll. Yeah, yeah. oh, so, so the oh, map no. on the left here is your you guys. The map on the right is like a tactical top-down view of what's going on. Battle shit. Oh, you battle guys are the shit. one right here. Take one shot. Captain! Take! Oh, Captain, hey. Captain. Okay. So, first off here is we have the the, the, the captain's orders. Uh, hold up. Let me explain this for Leon as well. Why is the uh, map being really buggy uh, what's going on it's like it keeps forcing itself down into a blank area um yeah it, it, it either refresh or like right click on the map and it, it's it, i've had this bug before yeah I'll, uh leon I'll there's a handout mm -hmm. i've given to everybody you should have it as well it's called ships actions do you see that yep yeah so each round of ship combat you can choose one of these actions here. Um, Henry has his own actions, and as a captain, he has his captain's orders as well, and that might buff what you do. But otherwise, mm -hmm. you get to choose one of these actions and perform them. You can also forfeit one of these actions and instead perform like your normal action, like maybe casting a spell. Okay, and that's everyone does that? Everyone's so gonna, yeah, everyone's gonna do it. So, actually, why don't I have everybody roll initiative as well? So that way we kind of have like a structured turn, turn order into who's going. Uh, Copy that. It'll technically all happen at the same time, but it's just that way I have a good Oh shit, I, did, I forgot to select my token. Oops. Good way to try uh, again. Add yourself in, I'll put that number. Okay. Do that. Oh, hell yeah! Well, you know what? I'll take this. I was <laughs> <Just> kidding. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh, okay. We take those. Uh, there, there. Uh, wait, wait. I have a question. On the right map, um, are we the top one shot tip or the, yeah, the bottom? Yeah, you're the shot? top one here. The one that's oh, going, going to the right. Uh, this one here is sort of coming along at an angle. Oh, shit. Okay. I was like, damn. They're... Okay. Okay. So, uh, each... Um, for each your sail that you have active, um, you move 45 feet per sail. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going with the wind, it's 60 feet, and if you're going against it, it's going to be 15. So I will need somebody here to roll me 1d8. Uh, Lord Smegmar. All right. Okay, so we are just... Um, we're not fighting two robots. Those are just us from a zoomed out perspective. Yeah. So there's one of you. You're the top one, and the other enemy is the bottom one. Okay. Okay. So the wind is blowing to the southwest right now. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, where are we now? So you're sort of you're you're going east. I don't know. East, okay. east, east. You're headed east right now. East. Uh, I think everything here is sorted. Captain! I will yes! Lead. I want yeah. to hit them with my sword! So, Captain, why don't you go ahead and give your order here? I take aim and fire! Okay. All so, right. the Captain's command is to take aim. 
which means okay. uh, everybody has advantage on the uh, next cannon attack you make. These things aren't and even loaded, are they? As I like look down a barrel. <laughs> they're already loaded and ready to go here. Unless someone intentionally decided to unload them. So now everybody and here five. is going to have a go. I can tell you, so on this zoomed out map here, yep. things are gonna be, yeah. Uh, we're standing, yeah. Zoomed out map here, you guys are, let's see. I guess I didn't do the square, so you're about, <laughs> It has somehow approached within 30 feet of you guys. Holy crap. What the Can junk? I see who else is on the other ship across from us, if they're that close? Uh, I'll say no, just because you're you're startling awake as all this is going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm still the crow's nest. Yeah. So, Maro, Maro, Maro Shopo, what is your first action? You've already given your captain's orders. Can I move the ship or no? You can choose to steer the ship. So you can choose to, right now it's going straight. You can choose to mm -hmm. steer it left or right 90 degrees. Up to 90 degrees. So where would like, you like can, to? Can, I have a question. Okay. Can, I, can I do like a like a turn, like a wide turn? Or it has to be like, it has to be like a sharp turn? Um, If you do wide, it, it would be like a 45 degree turn. All right, let's do that. Let's try that. Okay. So you're going wide. Uh, which yep. way are you going? Left or right? Attacking them, like, uh... Towards like, them? Uh, okay. Yeah. As we fire... Right, I'll oh, set shit. that there. Yeah, that looks like you're within arc here, so... Um... Zanbar, what are you doing here? Hello? Zanbar? Okay, uh, Lord Spegbar, what are you doing? Um, do I need to load like a cannon before I fire it or you can I just do, it's already loaded, but it is Open already fire. Load. So would you like it's to preload it? Yeah okay. Fire! Yeah, I would f I'm gonna fire. Okay, and then Grangus, okay. are you also firing? Uh, I'm not at a cannon Uh, you can the action will put you at a cannon, so you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm firing. Okay And then big daddy's boy here will reload one of the cannons Um, so why don't you two both make me uh, attack rolls here. You have they advantage, have advantage. Yeah, because of the fire yeah. action. So it's going to be 1d20 plus 6. Okay. You guys begin to careen across it. 1d20 plus 6. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know how to use a cannon, Captain! That one just clearly... Let's try again! Wait, yeah, wouldn't the cannon misfire at that point and destroy the cannon? <laughs> uh, you, you have advantage. Roll again. You do. Oh, he does have advantage. That's right. Oh, that's true. Oh, okay. Roll again. How do? What's the command again? Oh, um, yeah, the first one was a flu. Slash R, one D twenty. Plus the first six. one was me Space tripping on the yeah. cannon. Okay, I keep confusing with the Discord bot one. Oh yeah, the exclamation points and whatnot. If you guys use the little dice on the left, you can have a uh, drop. Yeah, down but you just, you can't put any modifiers on it. You can. Wait. Oh, I can't put any modifiers on it. No, uh -uh. but you could just you can uh, add the modifiers like post roll. But it's usually easier yeah. for the DM. There you go, to Leon. Just do Type that. in slash and then put in that what I just typed okay, up there. Roll up. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah, you can do that. Six. I oh. mean, that's a 15. Uh, roll a roll again because you do have advantage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Uh, both of them are hitting though. So why don't you give me damage? It's going to be 8d10 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. 8d10 8 8 10 10 water, yep. maybe? Holy wait wait. Hey DM, I, I chose fire as my the second one. It said choose two of the following commands. Oh yes. Yep. Nope. Uh, hold on, I think I messed it up. I uh, have no idea what's going on. Any player that fires a can rolls a DC fourteen slot of hand. Roll the D ten. It's singular D ten. It's not rolling hold one D ten. It's just <laughs> just type out slash R eight, eight D ten. Steal uh, Lord Smegmer's stuff. 
There you go. 50-40. He got that. All right. Uh, and me. then... So both of those go careening towards the ship and just slams into it, creating giant holes into the uh, ship. Uh, I need both of you guys now to make me a dex uh, DC 14 sleight of hand check to see if you can automatically reload the weapon. Wait, what? A yeah. DC auto... How do you... So wait, 1D20. DC? It's a sleight of hand check. So oh, yeah, so just, just all the yeah, yeah, hit I, I sleight of hand, yeah. Because Henry chose the fire command as well. So that's a failure. And that's nice. also a failure. So it's not reloaded, but Big Daddy's boy is reloading the cannon that Lord Smegmer is on. So that one is ready to go. I'm going to subtract the ammunition here. Um, Xanbar, it's still, you, you didn't take a move here just because uh, <laughs> you were gone. Yeah, because I was fucking, I was slipped. Okay. Um, Lit, dude. So right. as I, uh, as I turn around and like, look at what the fuck is going on, you know. I'll see. I'll peer over to see if uh, I can see like what's going on, like who's on that other ship or okay. what this ship is. Make me a perception check here. Okay. Um, it's an object. Yeah, That's you just not water. <laughs> you woke up here. It's very tiring. You were you slept in and the crow's nest and just like yeah. these the cannonballs and all this yelling just comes out. Uh, you have no idea what the heck you're looking at. So I'm annoyed. My that would be your interrupted. Action. I'm, they're yeah. gonna have a go here, and they're going to turn to match, and they're gonna fire as well. You dare fire upon us! A twelve and a twenty-one, and they are going Ooh. to hit you guys here. So. Uh, a ball for the oh. Two hits here. Oh. Uh, your let's see here. Uh, shit. Yep. Your hull is gonna take some damage. Twenty-eight points of damage here, and then your mast is also gonna take some damage. Your your Wait. your front mast, the one that uh, uh Zanbar's on. So do I have to do like a deck saving throw so I don't fall off? Uh, it's it's not that shaky. Like you're you're totally fine. Uh, and then you guys are going to uh, cure some water points here. As well. Uh oh. You have two Ooh. points of water on your ship here. Ooh. Uh, we're back at the top. Captain's orders. What would you like to do? Um, is there any water leaking or no? Uh, or very little. There's some very little. Or so. Uh, you have. 30 total points of water damage. When you hit 30 points of water damage, the boat will begin to sink. You're at two right now. You take. All right. Yeah, you take one. Take point. aim and fire. All right, take an aim and fire here. Uh, and then what is everybody's actions they're choosing? Uh, firing. Do I have to yeah. reload? Oh wait, wait. I have a question. Can can the ship move or no? The ship moves automatically. Oh, so, awesome. Uh, right now the wind is. You guys aren't really. Take aim and fire. Fire! Firing ah. cannons! Engage the cannons! Sorry, I gotta move everybody here. Wait, can I also fire? Or wait, or am I controlling the ship? You can, but you guys only have two, two cannons, cannons here. Oh. So you can try to do some finagling. So what you need to do is fire. Reload the cannon and then fire again, if you would like. Can I fire an arrow at the guys? At the enemy? You certainly can try. So right now, oh. Henry, your uh, your ship is still turning 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So right now it's going to turn another, or not 90, but another 45 to make that loop that you were talking about. Gotcha. They are running away. Are they attacking oh. us or are we attacking them? So you're gonna move 90 feet in that direction. Copy that. Hey, what's going on now? Uh, okay, and I'm now, all... so I, I've already had your movement there for the ship. Uh, what would you like to do? Me? Yeah. Um, fire an arrow at them. Okay. In no particular reason. Two of them. All right. Uh, to hit. 
try and get one. And then everybody else. Can we uh, load like five cannonballs into a cannon like Monster Hunter? You certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> the arrows you shoot just go careening and just like plunk into the side of the uh, the ship. Yeah! Fuck you, middle finger up your assholes! I started yelling at them. <laughs> uh, what is everybody else doing here? I am firing the cannon. Or the cannon is not loaded. You need to spend an okay, action I'm to loading. reload it. All right. I'm loading it. Uh, Lord Semegma, yours is already reloaded because Big Daddy's yep, boy has I'm, reloaded it. I'm gonna fire. Okay. Yo, advantage. Oh, you I have, do I have to roll. Yeah, right, right. You do have advantage. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh. 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 Those ones go creening past it. Uh, Big Dice Boy will reload your ship there. And Zanbar, what are you doing here? Um, I'm gonna hop on a hippogriff, pissed that my sleep is interrupted, and I'm gonna fly all the way over to the other ship. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot! He's gonna board them. It's gonna take a couple turns though to reach them. Um, they at. are. Not that far out, actually. Because we're the boat in front, right? They're about like 50 feet in front. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to fly over to their boat and like circle around their crow's nest and okay. see if I can figure out like what's on their boat. Yeah, sounds good. Um, you're currently like surrounding them. As they as they see you come on in, they a bunch of them are going to pull up some bow and arrows and crossbows and begin shooting at you. Aw. Uh, Aw. Uh. Okay. If, if this was Fire Emblem, you'd be dead. How, wait, how many of them are there? Well, there's a lot. There's a lot. You guys have six, well, five people. They have about ten people by the looks of it here. Okay. But some of them are busy doing the crew stuff, so there's going to be four attacks coming at you. All right, fair enough. What's your armor class? My armor class is 18. Okay. Two hits. One of them was a natural 20. Oh. Guys, what if we board them and commandeered their ship? Then we'd have two ships. Yo, wait, that's big brain. We'll loot it for all of its supplies and then mm. turn it to ships. ships. We can make an armada. Oh, <laughs> all right. So the crit. So in total, including the crit, you take 28 points of piercing damage here. Okay. Uh, 28. You said. All yeah. Right. Uh, that is gonna be. All and right. And then the rest of the crew here. We're gonna proceed forward. I'm just gonna move the ships a little. Just so that we have a little bit more room to operate on the battle map here. Okay. Uh, they're gonna move here. They're gonna reduce the mass on one of their ships so that they're not moving at full speed. And then they're gonna fire. They got a natural 20 on one of theirs. Oh. And then a 12 on the other one. So the 12 is going to hit the mass here. Uh, let's. <laughs> oh. Okay. Fuck. So the. Um, the first one that hit the mass is going to deal 41 points of damage. Let me just see. Okay, it's gonna hit the one that Danbar's on. This thing is looking really bad right now. <laughs> the one I was on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, not the one that uh, the the crow's nest one. Yeah. It's looking really bad. Um. And then the it's since it was a crit, it's taking that full damage there, so it's gonna take 34 plus 80, so 114 points of damage to your hole. Okay. Wait, which which ship is our ship? Uh, you guys cool. are the one on the left now. Oh, and you're How gonna, are we gonna get shoot them when they're behind us. Yeah, you're you're you guys are getting some water points here. Uh, you guys have ten points of water right now. Ooh. Oh, well, I'm I'm uh, 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 Your hole is at pretty much almost bloodied, so almost half with that crit there. And then they're, yeah, they're just gonna continue. I actually gonna turn to face. So, 
Oh, right. so they can't like. Uh, mm -hmm. They are not within any firing arcs right now. So uh, we're back at the top here. Captain's orders. What are you gonna do? Captain. All right. Hmm. Uh... This is hard. Okay. Um. What? Okay. What's uh? What's brace and take aim? Bracing and taking aim. Okay. So bracing helps reduce some of the damage that is dealt to either the crew or the ship itself. All right. All right. Bracing and taking aim. Uh, Mato Shopo, you are current. Your ship is currently not within firing arc. Oh shit! In that case, wait, I, wait, I, DM. I got a question. How yeah. far from the ship is is from us to the enemy ship? Like five feet. They're kissing oh, your ass. Right yeah, now. they're kissing your ass right now. Oh, all right, what? all right. Oh, in that case, oh, in that case, I'm, in that case. Action per turn. I'm gonna cast jump on all my allies. Okay, so oh. that's your action. Okay. Uh, oh, the this animation. is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be end really well or yeah, really we're terrible. Just gonna jump into the ocean. <laughs> all right, um, oh, you guys gonna jump with the ship? Is it just one creature? Your ship I think it's just one creature. Going for, um, jump? Yeah, yeah, it's only one creature. That's fine. Fuck it. It's gonna take a few rounds of turns before you can get it. To All right, game. I cast jump on Genghis one then. All right. Yes. Thank you, Genghis. You have jump. And then um, I gave him my blessing to slaughter them all. All right. Yar. Well, the USS Titans fall. Okay. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Mato Shopo has cast jump on Genghis. All right. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna board the enemy ship, and well, I'm gonna jump over. Uh, give me an acrobatics check here with advantage. <laughs> you have that jump on you. Thank the undying king. Thank the theater of blood. <laughs> As you begin to run on up, you stumble a bit. You're like, oh, 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 and then you manage to catch your footing, uh, weigh yourself down, and just launch yourself into the air. And boom, superhero landing onto the uh, front of the ship. I don't know what it's called. But... Um, there are two enemies nearby. You. You still have your action. Yeah, that was just I'm your going to strike thing. them down with a yeah. uh, great axe. Roll to hit. They begin screaming. I'm like, enemy has boarded. Uh, both of them are hitting. Give me damage. Oh. Oh wait. Uh, take off the rage. Oh, you didn't. So okay. it's five and ten. Yeah. Um, the first one, you swing it. It knocks him to the side. He's very wounded. The other one, this is the guy who like screamed out that the enemy's boarded. You just cut right into his body and he just topples to the ground. This is like classic Pirates of the Caribbean style. You just, everything is at your mercy right now. Uh, that right, is. I'll get a Hulk scream. Pirates of the Gringus Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates of All the right. Drown Sea. Um, Wait, so who else has to move? We still have Zanbar and Lord Smegmer here. All right, seeing the developments, like seeing like Gringus like pull some movie shit, I'm gonna swoop down to the second guy and try and grab him with um the hippogriff's talons and throw him overboard okay give me a strength check here he's gonna contest you with his dexterity trying to avoid you oh no uh he rolled a 15 so he kind of rolls around here on the floor as you kind of come swooping in and you just start clawing at the kind of floorboards of the ship mm -hmm. uh big daddy's oh, boy disgusting. here is gonna run down below the deck and begin bailing out the water here. Uh, should get rid of four points of water here. Uh, right. jump, is, jump is such a good spell. Lord Smegmer, <laughs> what are you doing? Is there still a lot of water in the ship? Or uh, is that mostly dead? Can you see the ship right now? Like the, the blown up version? Um, the blown up, oh, like the bigger version. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. Uh, there's oh. like, you see that big blue box? Yeah. Do you see the uh, blue number? Yeah. Yeah, that's your water point level. When it reaches 30, you guys are still gonna start to sink. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna bail out some water too. Okay, roll me 2d4 as you bail out 2d4 points of water here. Five points of water. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. And it is their turn now. Oh boy, they're having a little trouble. Some of their crewmates are being 
a little chopped up here. Some more begin to <laughs> run on up from beneath the uh, the deck here. Uh, they have their weapons in hand. Uh, so there's going to be three of them that run at Grengus. And they're going to make three attacks total. Uh, one from each of them. Alright. Uh, what's your armor class? 17. Okay. One of them hits here. Alright. Hey, five points of slashing damage. Wow, he sucks. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to laugh at their attempts. Uh, here, let me put the can name you, here. Could you, could you intimidate them? Like, do a line? Actually, I can. Yeah, do it like what the pirates actually do. Surrender your booty or die. Uh, they're going to they're like, full mass. And they're going to sneak on by here. And as they do, they're going to blow their load into your side of your ship here. Bruh. You said blow. <laughs> blow. Uh, they're going to have, gonna have uh, three people in the cannon, so they're going to fire twice. Oh. Fire and reload here. Target acquired. I'm going for the cannons. Okay, well, by some means, one of them missed. Uh, but three of them are going to hit. Okay, and I I chose Brace as the, uh, the thing. Yes. Wait, oh, I, I oh, that says on crewmates. That's not on the ship itself. Uh, it helps with... It's sort of like a roleplay thing. It helps with both. Okay. So the uh, the health hit points of the ship kind of reflects the hit points of the Wait, crew. three shots going straight into the ship do work. Yes. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll just cast water breathing or water walk and Mutus uh, have Genghis one put down a rope for us and Mutus climb the enemy ship. I guess so. Okay. Uh, okay. Taking 130, 137 points of damage here. Oh, I think the ship's fucked or almost fucked. Oh, just about fucked. Yeah. Oh, uh, 21 fuck points yeah. of life remaining here. Uh, yeah. This is not looking good. The cannons! We're back at the top of the turn order. Um, it will go, they will go careening past you though. Uh, just because of how their, um, the ship works. Uh, Velocity. Oh, yeah. So now you guys are chilling or chasing them. What would you like to do? We're back at the top of the turn order here. Captain's hmm. orders. What are they going to be? Let's uh, fire and take aim. Okay. Uh, I don't think you have a firing angle. You would have to steer into a firing angle here, Motto. Okay. Um, so you I, have we, to. We will follow them. We will follow them. Okay. Okay. So you'll just hug their tail, all right? Yeah. So right now you're. You guys would be moving 90 feet here. Gotcha. Uh, nope. 120 feet. Oh, shit. Right, because you have both your masts up. Yep. Or down, I should Wait, think. can I put one down or it's too late? You can put one down as your regular action. Oh, all right. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta move the ships back and forth. Um, so you can put one down so you only move 60 feet. Yeah, but can, we, can I do that? Yeah, that would be your regular action. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can have Big Daddy's boy do that as well. Yeah, Big Daddy will do that. Okay, so Big Daddy's boy will do that. So you're now only traveling 60 feet. Uh, what are you going to do for your action model since you're also still action? Um, I'm going to fire at them. Uh, with, uh, with what? Are you, oh, you're going to go board and board? I mean, can, can I do that? Yeah, I mean, you'll be if you since you lowered, since Big Daddy's boy lowered one of the masts, you're yeah. gonna be trailing right past them. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna have as as we get as I get past them, I'm gonna go cast jump and jump on the enemy ship. Okay, wow, we're abandoning this ship. That's I like this plan. Uh, make Wait. me an acrobatics check here. Okay, let me let me let me get one minus one spell slot. Yep. Okay, and then acrobatics. Oh. Oh. Not... Uh, 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 I'll let uh, you have an advantage just because um, you, you were skimming them as well. So the 18, uh, same as Greg gets, you stumble a bit only to come uh, finding your uh, footing and you leap on over 
landing on the other side of the ship there are a couple people around you are a little surprised uh there's two people with who are nearby uh i check out my short sword and dagger and slice and dice okay well to hit um so i'll use my dagger in my left hand yes and then my uh short sword in my right hand uh, uh don't i don't do think them. you can use is your it, dagger is that possible or no wait is a uh, jump in action to cast jump Oh yeah, jumps action. Okay. My bad, my bad. So you can't do anything here. You just kind of. All right, I look at them funnily. Yeah, <laughs> you look at them funnily. They look at you funnily back. Um, let's jump back to the ship here. Big Gaze Boy has already lowered the mast. Uh, Zanbar's out flying around. Yep. Uh, Lord Smegbar, you are in command of Lord the ship. Lord Smegbar, you are you and Big Daddy Boy are the only people left on the ship. So, wait, then who's up next on the turn? Uh, we'll do. I'm losing track. We'll do the ship here first before we go to uh, Zanbar. Okay. And, uh, well, Zanbar and Grangus, just because you guys are on a separate ship. I'm Let's... gonna. I'm gonna repair the ship. Okay. It's a two d ten. You repair the ship two d ten points. Uh, would you like to repair the hull or the mast? Oh, I, d I don't need to. Uh, do I need to roll or no? No, you can choose which one you would like to repair. Uh. So if the mass goes down, you'll lose that speed, but your ship won't sink. That's probably a good yeah. way to put it. I'm going to do the hull. Okay, 2d10 points. 13 points of healing here. Nice, nice. Okay. It's hard to control the ship now. Uh, All right, oh, fuck it. Only Lord Smegbert can control the ship here. Or yep. steer the ship. You are in command. I will uh, be joining my comrade in the That is it for them. We'll jump to Zanbar and Grenga. Zanbar, what are you doing here? All right, not knowing what's going on with like you know the other ship, I am going to cast. Uh, I'm going to fly towards the. Um, oh gosh, what was it? The um. Wow, I cannot. The helm, right? The helm. Okay. And and I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on it. Um, at. Uh, okay. At the fifth level in an attempt to destroy it oh okay yeah roll to do you have to roll to hit um let me see flash of light streaks toward the creature of your choice within range make a range spell attack against the target okay yeah so i will do that right 23 hits yeah give me damage here Okay, I'm doing that fifth level. Submit. Oh my gosh. Oh, two oh. ones in that roll. Uh, what is that? 24 points of damage. It looks like you may be kind of taking out half of it. It's probably a good way to put it. But that helm's still working. So it goes from 46 to like 86, and I roll terribly on all of it. Oh, yeah. What a waste. All right. All right. Anything else from you? Um. I'm gonna have the hippogriff swoop down and try and uh, attack it as well. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let me just pull up the uh, hippogriff's feet here. I mean, how can I fucking miss this? <laughs> okay. 19 hits, claws. 20 hits. Yeah, give me damage. Okay. Claws and feet. Okay, yeah, it begins to rip and tear. The uh, the person who's driving is like, get the fuck away! Ah, get away, bird! <laughs> uh, but it's it's barely hanging on. It's still there, but it's barely hanging. Okay, that's pretty much the... Actually, wait, <laughs> wait a second. Bonus action, spiritual weapon in the process of all of that. Um, to, um use as an additional attack i'm just double checking to see if it's possible um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cast okay. weapon at the fifth level as well boom all right uh and we will do a roll to attack we'll drop that slot Ugh. it Ooh. fucked i mean is that hit uh that's <laughs> It's not gonna hit, actually. What the fuck? It's a stationary object. It's a stationary object. With... I'm throwing myself off this ship. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm having none of this. Anything else for you? 
No, I can't do anything else. All right, Grant, guess what are you doing? Rage! Raging. All right, and I'm just gonna start slashing in everyone that's next to me. And I'm gonna... I don't know, I, I can't really see who is... Uh, yeah, you can me. You begin to run on up here to the people who are... Um, there's some people on the cannons that you can run on up to. All right, I'm gonna try and there's three Knock of them. them. Off. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's more of a uh, all a, of them off. That's a give me a strength ocean. check with disadvantage here. You're gonna contest all three of them. All right, hold up. I have an advantage on strength checks with okay. my rage. Fifteen. So, Eleven. Advan uh oh. oh. Because they it, cancel it'll, each other. It cancel out. Yeah. So eleven. Uh, you just barely managed to just. You shove up against them and they all push back, but you kind of give a one last hoorah and you just shove all three of them and yeah! they all fall into the ocean. Uh, can I do any other attacks? That Your anything. action was to shove there, so. Alright, so that's it then. But I'll say, yeah, you're at this one here. Um, Alright, we're back at the top. Captain's orders. Uh, I gave Lord Smegmar the choose. Okay, so oh, Lord Smegmar here. Um, you have a couple things you can do. I'm just going to show this to him. Lord Smegmar, you I now am. have control of the captain. I'm going to show that to you. Do you see it come on up? Yeah. Okay. So that's what Henry's been choosing at the beginning of each combat. Which one would you like to choose? You can choose two of them. Okay. Is Are there still like enemies on the other ship? Yeah. Okay, then it's probably better to let's repair. You're choosing the repair, cap uh, yeah. command. Okay, and you can choose one more command as well. Um. Hmm. Uh, take aim. Take an aim. Okay. Uh, then we will jump to the top here. Let's go with. Uh, model ship is on the other ship, so we'll leave you guys on the ship. So, Lord Smegber, you and Big Daddy's boy, what would you like Big Daddy's boy to do here? Uh, I think we should both repair. Okay, so both of you guys roll 3d10. Because you chose the repair action, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so you get an extra repair, 3d10, so that's a total of 25 points of healing to the whole. <clears throat> We'll jump back to the other ship here. Uh, you guys are both just kind of going neck and neck right now. Uh, the Titan's Fall is a little ahead. Um, can I spot the ma uh, the hull or the no, not the, the steering wheel of the ship? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm hell. trying to destroy. Yeah, you see a massive hippogriff with the Xanabar uh, riding it. Um, let's see. Yeah, model, what, what are you doing? Hmm. Oh, wait, aren't there any two enemies nearby, or the the uh, gang is? Uh, yes, destroyed? there are still two enemies nearby you. Fuck it. Uh, I th okay. So, did, like, uh, do they see me or no? Uh, oh, they've definitely noticed you. They've all. all right, they're all shouting it. like, "Enemy has boarded!" I will charge at them with my uh, short sword, and I'll uh, do two attacks. Yeah, thirteen. Yep, that one hits as well. Thirteen DPS on their buttholes. Okay, you you cut into one person. You you just stab him through the gut and just throw him off the sh edge of the ship as he dies. And then I point my sword at the other one. Do you want to end like that, you scallywag? Oh, make me an intimidation check. With the Are you allowing it? All right. Okay. He pulls out his weapon in response. Ah, uh, very well. He will charge you, but it's not his turn. So Zanbar, go ahead. What would you like to do? Got it. So the boat we're on is the one that's a little bit behind, right? Yes. Okay, got it. Uh, just keeping that in mind, because I'm gonna have the hippogriff attack the um the uh, the helm again. Okay. Starting with the claws. All right. Is that hit? That hits. Five damage. Five okay. damage it, as it rips a 
tears off the wheel there. The helm so is no longer helmet. usable. Sure. Yeah. It is now locked in one direction. All right, sweet. I'm going to have the Hippogriff move on to uh, people manning the cannons on the starboard side. That's like facing the, the other ship. So uh, I've kind of just mirror matched it where on your ship. Yep. So just move yourself to where you are. Uh, Grangus have dispatched the uh, cannon crew on the left there. And Model is working her way towards the cannon crew on the left as well. Okay. So let me see if we can pull some NPCs to Blood for the blood god. Wait, is that a reference to a psycho in Borderlands 2? Uh, no, it's Warhammer 40k. Oh, okay. Alright, I just see our ship here. Alright. Uh, uh, it's still your turn, Xanabar, so... Yep. Um, how many people are, like, manning the cannons on the starboard side? Uh, is that right? That is right side. Okay, cool. That's facing the other ship. Um, there's two people. One on the cannon that's furthest away. Okay. And there's one person on the cannon that's closest to you. Cool. I want the uh, hippogriff to attack one with its beak. Okay. So uh, he's so... gonna fly on over here. I actually don't see what you're uh, re referring to, but okay. Oh, are you on? Are you on the? Uh... I'm still on the original. Oh, whoa, okay, I see it here. You, like, mirrored it over. Yes, so uh, you see the people on there? Yep. And... Oh, okay, I see, uh, yes. Now I do. So I'm wow. gonna have, yeah, the Hippogriff go after the, uh, person that's closest. Okay. To them. Um, the, uh, the cannon in the, like, in the center. On the right, okay. yep, just like, uh, yeah, oh, crap, that's really far. Yeah, um, he's not actually gonna be able to fly all the way there. Got it. Uh, we'll go out, have him attack the one that's like directly below. Okay. You're still riding so, it, or did you hop off? Uh, I, I am gonna hop off to kill okay. whoever's on the helm. Put you right next to them. Okay. Uh, so the hippogriff got one more attack there. Go ahead and make yep. an attack. That's gonna hit. Give me damage. Oh. Thirteen. It beaks into him. Just beaks out his eyes. Ah. <laughs> My eyes, and he dies there on the spot. All right, sweet. Now, um, onto my own, I can do spiritual weapon and also do a warhammer attack. So we'll start with the two-handed warhammer attack on the guy at the helm. Ugh, does that hit? Uh, that's gonna hit, yeah. All right, um. That's 12 damage. 12 damage, that's enough to just kill him right there. Got it, and then I'm gonna have the spiritual weapon fly over and hit the uh, the, the guy on the right that's manning a cannon by himself. Oh, I think that's too far. Wait, really? Look, can oh, you let me double check. 30 feet, right? I thought you could only move it 30 feet. Oh, yeah, uh, let me double check. That might be the case. You can move the weapon up to 20 feet, actually. Okay, but that's still too far. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna I'm have to rescale everything here because things are a lot larger than I thought. But we'll do so, that for next yeah, time. Th yep. So, I still have my movement uh, as Zamba, right? Yes. I'm gonna actually parry the uh, spiritual weapon and move towards the cannons and then throw it forward 20 feet. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself. Okay, let me just figure out where I am. Uh, at the helm, there we go. I have 25 speed, so that's just like, gotta do a measurement here. Okay, like, right there. Right the, here, yeah, roughly. Top of the stairs. Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. And that pretty much ends my turn as I throw the spiritual weapon like 20 feet forward. Yeah, a uh, Grangus. It is your turn. All right, I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna start spinning with the great axe to try and hit all three of them. Okay, roll me a. There's a strength check here. Okay. 
check. Uh, strength check. Check. Strength. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily what? enough, no kidding, the highest roll out of all three of them was a four. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> so go ahead and roll me damage and we'll just... Uh, for great axe? Yeah. Uh, just a 1d12. No modifiers. Or... Alright. Oh, wow. Uh, eight damage here. Not too you do that, an awkward spin and you cut into all three of them. Uh, cleanly slicing through all three of them. Alright. Uh, I'm going to yell at the rest of the crew. Surrender now or die choking on your blood while I rip your spines away. Give me a intimidation check here. A lot of them, a couple of them begin to quiver in their little boots that they have. We're gonna jump back to the top for the turn, though. <laughs> Captain's orders, what would you like to do? Uh, who's on the ship right now? They have priority. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Leon. Okay, so the troops on on this ship here is not our ship. This is just the... Yeah, it's a, kind of a representation of the enemy ship. So you, okay. It's just you and Big Daddy's boy all alone right now. Okay, um... Oh, no. I don't I mean... I guess I'll just do what I did last time. I'll just, uh, take aim and repair. Okay. And you just want both of you guys to repair? Yeah. 3d10 from both of you. 16... Wow. Better points here. 31 points of healing. Um, let's see here. We'll jump on over to the other ship here. Uh, as you guys begin to slowly make your, I guess, approach on the enemy ship, you can hear like this clank, uh, not, not clanking, um, Kind of weird noise, footstep noise, come up from beneath the uh, the the deck here, and uh, you can hear this voice come on out. Just who ish taking over my ship here? And you can see this um, pirate-looking captain here with his pirate hat. He's got a pegged leg and a uh, patch over his right eye. He turns yeah. to face all of you and he pulls out uh, two scimitars. And that's actually where we're going to end today's session. As the captain of this ship has uh, made his appearance for you guys. Damn, it's time to throw him overboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end I'm the just kidding, we'll here. kill him. All right.